The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. Tolerate me getting you a cup of tea in my gur, or will it? You'll have to strip off though, because it's pretty hot. It's kind of interesting how we had a division of labour for animals. Yes. Horses are to be ridden, camels are to carry stuff. But he did mention about horse mare milk, didn't he? Fermented horse mare milk. Fermented horse mare milk, and once drunk, one's fine for about 15 minutes, and then you are drunk. Hmm. I'm not sure wonder what's in that. That's another thing I'll have to, have to look up. Now that wind's firing up quite a bit, quite a bit. I've got a feeling I should have got a windbreaker. I believe you're right. <laughs> Beautiful scenery. Let's put my sunnies on. Oh, look over there. How amazing is this? Mongolia. Yeah. About an hour's drive out of Ulaanbaatar. all part of vegging out. Well, for you maybe. I'm here to eat meat and I think I'm going to get plenty of it tonight. Mutton, I presume. I'd imagine so, in various forms. Or, if we don't see that horse in the morning, it might be that. My little pony. <laughs> My little pony. No, this is, this is almost precisely what it's all about. It's, uh, potatoes and carrots tonight will be divine in this circumstance. I'm not too sure. Sh they're, they're not going to have any spice at all. Yeah, they said that. They said it's not spicy. And I'm going to have plain boiled carrots and potato, but we may be heading towards Morel land for that. Not, not truffle, but well, we have some alcohol. We have um, Gobi Desert beer, don't we, to go with it? It makes everything better. Yeah, Gobi Desert Beer will accompany it. I don't know whether we've got... We haven't got the Chengis Khan vodka, which is locally made. I did look at it and I thought... Mm. Mm. We'll have enough vodka in Russia, won't we, I think? We will have enough vodka in Russia. So um, but, um, it's, it's I, too early to start now. I think if my meal is enjoyable tonight with a couple of bottles of beer, then it's, it could easily put it up into the morale level of eating. And um, purely because of the ambiance, the circumstance and the company and the unexpectedness of it, because I'm not expecting a lot. As you say, my little pony might not be here tomorrow. <laughs> and I, I may have just be eating the mane when I think it might be truffle or something like that. Do you want that? Yeah. There you go. Okay. 
Sure. <laughs> Will we get a smile out of you? I don't know. You want to try mummy? <laughs> I think we're about to do a line, Tom. I ain't doing that. I really might clear you out of it. This is the silver hat, uh, the cup, for the men. Drink for the tea and vodka. See, we made by silver. Mm. You want to have a look? Mm. Right hand, mate. You can hear that. What do you do to you? Do you know? hey. He wants to drink the water. Right, yeah, go for it. Oh, that's the. Oh, the horse. Mm. Yeah. It's a huge thing, huh? So you win. But they do it. It's not stuff. Very nice. I did cheese. I did cheese. I know. Tell us in Mongol clothes we call bell. We have four bushu jimba. This is belt. They do jimba. Bushu shoe. Uh, this is traditional Mongol clothes of steel. Well, <laughs> try the hat. Oh yeah, wear the hat, mate. Heck yeah. <laughs> the belt is goes to the eight meter. Oh. Wow. <laughs> this is good for the horses. If they lost his horse the control, he used my his belt and catch his horses. Yeah. Well, there we go, ready. <laughs> Cinderella, perfect fit. The shoe fits, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Wild west. <laughs> <laughs>